Welcome to Wednesday Inspiration Now. The joy of God. And that's what we want to study in the book of Philippians in this midweek as we're going through a difficult time of COVID. We can still rejoice in the Lord. It is Paul who wrote this letter to the church in Philippi. The Paul and Timothy, the servant of Christ. He wrote this letter to them. And the whole letter was about joy. In fact, only four chapters of this letter, there's more than 16 times Paul talks about joy and rejoice. Obviously, the one thing that he want to really come across throughout this whole letter was the joy. In fact, in chapter 4, verse 4, he said, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. He says rejoice, not just rejoice, but rejoice in the Lord. The joy does not come from anywhere. There is a happiness that we want to have, and the happiness is something that we like to see when those things that we like taking place. But the joy is different. Joy is coming from the Lord. And that's why Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord. That is important. And he says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Not only all the good things taking place, not only when those things are happening that is positively, but also always, even when those bad times and difficult times. Rejoice in the Lord always. Are you sure? So he says one more time. Again, I say rejoice. This is the message that Paul has for the church. Not only church in Philippi, but to all of us. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, let me say rejoice. Rejoice. The Christian life is not like the thermometer. The thermometer just tells you where your temperature is. But thermostat is the where you set the temperature that it maintains in that state. In the same way, the happiness can come and go and up and down based on our situation, our feelings, like the thermometer. But here, the joy of God is like thermostat. It sets time. It sets temperature. The joy of God. And then we begin to realize, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, rejoice. Keep that in mind. This letter was actually written by Paul in the prison at Rome. He was sent out by this Philippian church and actually they were praying for him and supporting him and he finally wanted to share the gospel but he was imprisoned at Rome. He could not share the gospel openly and freely. He was in the jail. And this is what Paul telling the churches in Philippi. Rejoice always. In the Lord. Just imagine this. Let's say you are commissioned me to the a mission field. I wanted to go share the gospel. So you pray for us and you sent me as a missionary. I finally got there, but I was imprisoned. I could not move around. I could not share the gospel. I was really, really in difficult time. So I'm sending letter to my supporters. That is you. What kind of letter would that be? Something like this. I say, I'm stuck here. I'm in the prison. Please, please pray for me that I may come out. That I share the gospel freely. Then you probably respond to me by sending this mail like this. Pastor Chin, we are praying for you. I know you are in difficult time in jail, in prison, but I want to tell you to rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. But the Paul
Paul's letter was different, wasn't it? He was in the prison, and to the people who are outside of prison, in the church in Philippi, he said, Rejoice in the Lord always. And I say again, rejoice. Because joy is not bound by our situation. Because joy is not bound by what would happen in our lives. Rejoice in the Lord always. For the joy of God is ours. Today, as we live our life, it's been a while that we forgot about the joy in our survival, in our fear and our worries. Remind us once again what God has spoken to us. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Rejoice always in the Lord. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. The joy comes from you. For the joy of God is our strength, that we can rejoice in you. Even when we go through difficult times and when we are even down, yet always we can rejoice because our life in you is like thermostat. We can stay above your grace so that we can overcome all those things with joy. So help us, O oh Lord, that we may live life with joy, with your joy, that we can rejoice in you, that the world will be different. The way we look and see it will be different because the joy of God is our strength that we will continually rejoice in the Lord always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.